Hello and welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I am your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're going to be reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2019. Now this is going to be a three-card general spread. Um, these are going to be general messages, so please take the messages that resonate. And you can also leave a comment if they resonate as well. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading to see what's going on personally with you in your life, you can do so by contacting me on my website www.ladyscorpiostarot.com as well as emailing me if you'd like to get more information about what I do and my services you can do so by emailing me at ladyscorpiostarot at icloud.com once again please give me a big fat thumbs up please like share and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for my notifications I guess let's get straight into it Universal Spirit, please give me messages for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2019 in love. Actually, I say in love. <laughs> General messages only for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2019. I actually give me messages I love, light and clarity for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do you have for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2019? What messages do you have for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2019? I ask for you, my friend, I love like clarity from my Aquarius to Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2019. What message do you have for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Oh, okay. Alright, we'll take these two cards. Let's see. Hmm. All right, so the overall energy for the month, um, Aquarius, is the imprint. So some of you guys definitely could be pregnant or maybe you guys are wanting to nurture something, um, put some type of creative nurturing energy into something, maybe a project. Maybe you want to nurture yourself, pamper yourself. You could be working on your appearance and your beauty and just, you know, really, really getting into your feminine hood. Um, but if not, you can be connected with a Virgo woman or, you know, connected to this imprint's energy, okay? Now, let's see. We have the three of coins, so I feel like some of you guys, some of you choruses are looking at this empress that you want to connect with. We have the three as well as the three of coins. Um, somebody that you have wanted to build with or you have built with them previously. But then we have the devil card and then the two of cups. So somebody's definitely dealing with a Capricorn um, or Scorpio or Pisces, okay? Maybe you're looking at... Build, you want to build with somebody, but some toxic things that's going on with this person. Or maybe this person is tied to somebody else, okay? Maybe they're tied to like sexually bonded or chained or soul tied to somebody else or this person just be, can be addicted to you understand like toxic things or just addictions like you know maybe alcohol drugs or if not just sex or just really really like pat a lot of passion okay um but the two of cups i feel like it's a soulmate connection going on right now this person you feel like it's your soulmate or maybe this person is tied to a soulmate and it's some type of partnership but i'm going to clarify this because it's like it seems like you want to build with somebody, but it's the devil in the way of your connection, okay? Um, or maybe this person is already tied to somebody else, already in a relationship, and whereas though you can't build with them. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords coming out, so this is an ending. Maybe you ended something with this person. Also could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This can be your energy, feeling like somebody backstabbed you, betrayed you, left you out in the cold. You know, they put an ending to you because they in a partnership with this Capricorn or in a soulmate connection, okay? Let's see, why is the three of coins here for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2019? Why is the three of coins here for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2019? Why is the three of coins here? Why is it the... Oh. Yeah, the hangman. I feel like um, with the hangman, you need to, like, some of you guys are definitely focusing on having a new perspective about a partnership that you're in or or how to build within this partnership. You guys have been looking from things from a different perspective, um, but kind of stuck in limbo about if you if you want to move forward with this partnership and keep building, okay, towards the situation. Um, now, with the eight of, so eight of Wands, maybe somebody could have blocked you, you know, blocked communication from you or blocked action or got really defensive with you and kind of left the situation. Like, they moving forward from this moving forward from you i feel like with the fool card maybe somebody you was dealing with in the past um took a new beginning or took a leap of faith and kind of like blocked you or stopped the action it was just very um defensive and aggressive towards you or well, this can be your energy you started something new with somebody else possibly your aries as well um leo Sagittarius, aries and um 
yeah, you just you just wanted to block this this connection with this person because it was overly passion. It could have been a toxic connection, um, or maybe some type of chain. You know, you felt chained and bound bonded to this person. But what the eight of wands is like, you moving ahead and moving forward passionately, but you still feeling guarded. Okay, uh, on this new journey. Now let's see. Why is the devil card here? I found a devil card here from Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2019. Why is the devil card here for my Aquarius? Alright, Aquarius. So I feel like with the devil card, it's definitely somebody that you're dealing with that's really controlling and toxic for you. This person is like, with the Emperor card, this, this is a person that's like a leader figure. He's very passionate. He's a go-getter. He's a leader. He's protective. Sometimes he can be defensive, um, but he's upright. So I feel like maybe some type of control and possessiveness that's going on between you um, and possibly a partner. And I feel like with the Justice card, it was some type of the divorce or ending or some type of fairness and balance that needed to be brought between a soulmate connection. Like I said, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Some of y'all are dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, and Pis or Pisces that kind of like ended things with you with the justice card and got justice over leaving the situation okay um but with the queen of wands it seems like maybe this is you guys ending something with somebody that was really really controlling and toxic for you and moving towards your, a connection that you have with this queen of wands okay so that's why i see for some aquarius is some of you guys can be definitely dealing with the queen of wands to um to bring justice to a, a, a relationship, a two a cup situation, okay? Because you felt like it was something, I don't know, I guess to gain control. Hmm. The King of Swords is the person who likes facts. I feel like you guys are dealing with, um, this could be your energy wanting to find truth, clarity, and facts of the situation that you're dealing with. But the justice card, somebody definitely feel like they need to seek justice between some type of soulmate connection. Um, and with this Queen of Wands, I'm not sure why she's here, but we can see. Why is the Queen of Wands here for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2019? Clarify the Queen of Wands. Okay, the Queen of Wands and Queen of Coons. Some of you guys will be dealing with two different people, and you have to decide on... If you're going to, in one situation, to deal with one person, or if you're going to stay with the other. Give me another card file for the Queen of Wands. So, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 2019. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are going to sit there and, um, I feel like some of you guys are definitely going to work on nurturing yourself. And I feel like with the Three of Coins, you might can be partnering up. With somebody that's like really, really, you're really tied to sexually. They make you really feel like sexual and passionate and all that other stuff. But I feel like with the Ten of Cups and Ten of Coins, this is somebody you feel like you can build with, you can be happy with. And this person is definitely a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay? Um, so let's see. I'm sorry if the reading is all over the place. There's just a lot going on with you guys. Some of you guys are definitely building it with a new... A, a new soulmate connection or whatever, but with the devil in the middle, I feel like maybe you're still tied to somebody else and chained to somebody else. And in order for you to move forward with this new co connection, you need to get rid of it, excuse me, and make it fair and balanced by letting it go with the justice card, okay? And nurturing this new relationship. So let's see. Why is it too? Let's get more, more clarified for the devil. Why is the devil card here for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Clarify the devil card for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 2019. Clarify the devil card. Okay. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys found somebody new, but you're still tied to a marriage or tied to somebody that you are, you know, have been in a long commitment with at one point or somebody that, you, that you're married to because we have the Herpin card. We have the King of Cups with the Empress and the Herpin. So some of you guys are definitely being stable with your emotions, being grounded, but working on nurturing some type of marriage or some type of situation okay um some of you guys want to like i said have the ten of cups and ten of coins with this water sign individual but it's some type of tie that you're still stuck stuck to i feel like some of you guys are still tied to somebody from the past and that's why you can't fully move forward but in order to do that you have to cut out the situation okay and know how to nurture this new relationship okay and be hopeful and optimistic okay now let's see why is the two of cups here I thought the two of cups in my Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of April 2019. 
Yeah, some the Queen of Swords, she cuts off the bullshit. I feel like, and then we have the Knight of Coins. So I feel like this Queen of Swords and this Knight of Coins are in a soulmate relationship. This is not your energy, but this could be, like I said, maybe you found out that your partner was in a third party situation. Maybe you found out that, you know, you had, well, maybe you had somebody in a third party situation and um, somebody that you were still tied to. Or your partner, you found out they were still tied to somebody and, and that was new. You know what I'm saying? This this Knight of Coins probably came in. And, you know, this Queen of Swords, she she came in too with some type of truth and clarity about moving forward with the situation, okay? Um, and bringing truth and clarity and going off of facts with the situation. And being logical about the, her approach towards this relationship. Getting victory within this relationship, okay? And, and working on investment and saving, okay? And building with the Eight of Coins. So give me one more clarify for the two of cups for my Aquarius sun rising Venus. Like I said, this person you could be married to and have a child with, with the Empress card being here. But I feel like you want to move forward. Some of you guys definitely want to move forward to a new beginning um, and leave things behind. But the fact that you're still tied to them, do a child or do some type of marriage, you can't move forward with the partnership with the, with your desired partner that you want. Okay. Because you're building between two different people. I see different energies here. So some of you guys can be dealing with a fire sign individual or air sign individual. Also earth as well. But I feel like in order for you to move forward with this person, you got to kind of like get rid of this devil energy, this Capricorn energy. Or this is, could be your energy. Maybe you need to get rid of this toxic situation in order for you to connect back to your soulmate. But I really feel like some of you guys are dealing with two multiple people. Like two people or three other people. And that's why you really can't move forward the way you want to. Okay, but I feel like some type of you want to move forward and have a new beginning with the uh, cherry and the ace of coins. You want to make a new offer, but I feel like it's some type of like blockage that's going on where so you can't come like come back to this person and make an offer to them because they're tied to somebody. I really mean I feel like this is all over the place. I mean some of you guys definitely want justice. Like you want the star. This is your energy. You wish for this person to unblock you and come back towards you or whatever. But they've been putting up a block. And they it was really defensive and they cut you off with the justice card. Um, but I feel like some of y'all are trying to manifest like them to come back, okay? Um, so please let me know if these messages resonate with you. I really hope they do. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment if so. And at the end of the day, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and get a reading of your own on my website. And I'll leave that below. I'll see you guys next month.